Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do kind of like a fun little topic here and it's just going to be what is on my nail polish wish list. Um, I keep a running Excel sheet of everything I own, everything I've worn, and then I keep an extra like third page and that's just my wish list. Now when I first got into like nail YouTube probably five years ago now, they used to call it like a, a lemmings list or, or like nail polishes that, you know, are just kind of out of reach or, or for whatever reason you just can't get to them. You know, either they're out of stock, they're really old, uh, from another country type of thing. But I, I guess some of these would kind of fall under that topic, but some of them I just, I can get them. I could find them online pretty easily. I just haven't for one reason or another. Um, and we're just going to talk about those today. I think I've got eight eight polishes or, or maybe full collections for some of these. And, and most of my wish list is going to be mainstream just because I, in my experience, when indie polishes go out of stock, typically they're out of stock. They're, they're done, you know, their run is over or they have very limited ability. You know, if it, it's from like three years ago, it's going to be a lot harder to find. Um, so I usually just wipe them from my wish list and try not to think about them, put them out of my mind. So without any, you know, further blabbing on, let's get into my wish list polishes. So number one is the dumbest polish I could ever want. It is the Christian Louboutin Rouge Louboutin, and it's got that it's that really tall bottle. I think they're like $50. $50. I don't even know if you can get Rouge Louboutin anymore. I've seen other ones, but I can't seem to find this one. You know, now that I'm an adult with money and I can afford to spend $50 on one nail polish, it's the only time I can't find it. Kind of dumb. But it's, it's just bougie. It's stupid. I don't need it. I could probably get a comparable red but I want it. I want that bottle. It's so stupid. I just keep calling it stupid. I don't know. I have this affinity for expensive things that are ugly. I love to pay a lot of money for hideous things. I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if I'm like, I have this like nouveau riche mentality in my head, but I love things like Gucci, you know, where it's just like, it's so obnoxious and, and, People will look, normal people are going to look at you and be like, ew, what are you wearing? I love that. So I love this nail polish. It's really gaudy. It's really garish. And I want it. Polish number two is a Cirque Colors polish. And if you saw my, uh, my advent calendar review, you'd know that the first time I ever purchased from Cirque was that advent calendar. And so now that has kind of opened the floodgate and I feel like I can purchase from Cirque. I don't... Have you ever just never bought from a brand and you just feel like you can't? It's just not right, the, not the right time. And so you keep putting it off and putting it off. I don't know why, but that advent calendar opened the door for me and now I can, now I can buy from Cirque. Um, but the polish that I want, it's called 20 or XX. I'm pretty sure it's the Roman numeral 20. And it's just a polish. It's like a topper with 20 different glitter shades in it. And it's just such a fun ridiculous nail polish and I love the idea of toppers. I love toppers. They're so much fun, but I don't wear them very often because they're really the chunkier glitter ones. They're so hard to get off your nails and to circumvent that I could wear a peel off base coat, but that lasts me like four hours. I just end up chip it chips so much faster on me than the normal base coat. So I just feel like what a waste, but I do really like this polish and one day I will buy it. Number three is 90 Lacquer's Coming Home Collection. It's the collection she released when Animal Crossing New Horizons finally released and back in like March. I, I don't know if she released it in March or April, but it's it's got all these cute polishes inspired by the characters and, and the game. And I, I've been playing Animal Crossing since I was in sixth grade. I've been playing since the original GameCube one came out. I even, I used to live in Japan and I scouted down the original N64 cartridge because it came out on N64 there and not GameCube. So I, it's safe to say I'm obsessed. And recently ColourPop announced their Animal Crossing like makeup collection. 
and I was just like super underwhelmed and really disappointed by it. I felt like it wasn't as good as it was hyped up to be. And so I decided the money that I set aside for that makeup release, I'm probably just gonna bite the bullet and buy the 90 Lacquer Animal Crossing nail polish collection instead. I feel like I'm gonna be happier with that and it's just gonna be a better, you know, investment of my money. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next on my wish list is from Enchanted Polish, and this one is called Sci-Fi. This was part of their Star Wars May the Fourth Be With You collection that came out uh, in May of 2020, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's fairly recent. Um, I have never seen Star Wars. Please don't kill me. Um, I grew up on Star Trek, and I just never had an interest in Star Wars. It's not that I don't like it. Um, you know, everybody loves Baby Yoda or Grogu, if you want to call him by his appropriate name. But I just never been interested. Plus, it's funny when people get really mad at you when you tell them you've never seen Star Wars. So I just keep not watching it. But I do love sci-fi. I, I like Star Trek and things like that. So this polish just, it really stuck out to me. It was what initially drew me into the brand in the first place. And so I think that it's only fitting that that's the first polish I actually buy from them. I don't know when I'm gonna buy it, but that's the first one I'm definitely gonna throw in my card. Next is kind of a weird one. This is from ColourPop. It's called One Wish, Two Wish. They, three or four years ago, they released, uh, was it six? I think it was six nail polishes. Um, and they were just really like creamy, kind of like, dream pastel -y, really cute they came in these really chunky square bottles and they released them and I managed to get all the creams and this you know one wish two wish was sold out and I waited and I waited and I waited and it never came back in stock and then they never restocked the other ones either but I, I have those in my collection because I did buy those but I just couldn't find that one ColourPop one and I want to have the full set. Something about that collector's mentality and I really wish that not only would they bring that one back but come out with more nail polish, you know, I feel like that would be a really cool thing for them to do. I wonder why they stopped at that one collection. Uh, let me know down below, like maybe they didn't and I just didn't notice but I'm pretty sure they only had those pastels and that I think it's a topper. Um, but yeah, that's one that I've never really ever seen again. I never seen anybody talking about the ColourPop nail polishes. They work really nice. They're really pretty, but it, I don't even know if I'd be able to find that in a D-stash, to be honest with you. The next one <laughs> is really funny. I, I don't remember how I found this. I think it was, um, when I open up my internet on my phone, it, it recommends me articles based on like cookies and like browsing history and stuff. So I get a lot of nail polish articles and this one, it came up from this website called Unkosher Market. And it's a lot of like Jewish goods, uh, just really, a lot of them I think are like novelty and clothes and, and just fun stuff like that. But this polish is called Everything Bagel and it's a topper that literally looks like, like the seasoning on top of an Everything Bagel. And I think they also have one called Lox, which is you know, that pink, like fish color. And then I think, I think there's another one that's like white for like maybe cream cheese or something like that. And you can buy them as like a bundle, but I just want the everything bagel nail polish and I need to buy it before for some reason it gets taken off because it's like just a novelty. I think it's like $16, but you know what? I've done dumber things. So I really do need to get on that and pick that up soon. The next one is called Free To Be Sesame. And even though I said that this was gonna be like all mainstream, I guess I was just wrong. This is probably, yeah, this is like the only like mainstream, mainstream polish, this one and the next one. Um, but yeah, I got all of the, the You Do Hue collection, which was like the Sesame Street collection that China Glaze did, um, you know, in collaboration. I got everything except for free to be sesame i couldn't find it anywhere and i don't know why that is was it just the most popular color i'm not sure but 
when I was a kid, I used to love Sesame Street, and it just seemed like such a fun collection. And then when they they did like round two for for winter, like they did a holiday one as well. I got all of those. None of those like were impossible to find, but free to be Sesame. I need that. I gotta look in a D stash. Maybe I can find it on some of those polish websites that sell like older polishes, you know, like Trans Design and things like that, uh, for a pretty steep discount. Yeah, I don't know what was so significant about that one. Hopefully I can find it someday. And last but not least is another collection, and this is the OPI Nicki Minaj collection. Um, I wasn't really into nail polish until 2015, I think. And even then, you know, I didn't know the ins and outs of it until maybe 2016, 2017. And so, Collections that came out before that are just kind of like looking at the history books for me, but I saw that they had a, a collaboration with Nicki Minaj and I used to be like a huge Nicki stan. Like I I don't buy CDs and never bought CDs really, but every single time she released an album, I would buy the physical CD. I, I don't know why. I just felt like I had to have it. I loved Nicki Minaj. I had like t-shirts. I listened to her constantly. She was pretty much the top on my Spotify rap every single year until this year. And then this year was just a really weird rap. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but um, I'm not as big of a Nikki Stan as, as I used to be, but I would still love to have this. I got one of them in a swap that I did, or like I bought this girl's entire collection and she had one of them. And she had one of the Katy Perry ones that I think were really popular too. But I got one of the Nicki Minaj ones. And I even want that stupid, ugly crackle polish that was in the collection just to have it. I just want to have the Nicki Minaj collection. So if you guys know where to get that, please let me know because I would literally die for it. Maybe not literally, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So anyways, um, that's not my whole wish list. I think my whole wish list is probably 200 polishes long because I just every time I see something I like I add it in and I add it in and then uh, it's really nice to have because if I get a email from like a brand saying like hey we're having a sale I don't have to really think too hard about what I'm putting in my cart I can just pull up my wish list go okay let's throw these in the cart and then we're done I don't have to overthink it too much um, let me know down below do you guys have a wish list what is on your wish list do you have any of my wishlist polishes and do you love or hate them? Just let me know down below. I really appreciate uh, I really appreciate when you guys comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.